welcome to the Wheel of Names, where we spin the wheel, we get the name, you get the time lapse, and the backstory. So, Wheel of Names, who are we drawing today? Remy, all right, let's get into it. Remy LaRue was born, raised, and has lived in two. Hold on. Toulouse. Ooh, I should have looked that up beforehand. Remy LaRue was born, raised, and has lived in Toulouse, France for 25 years. They wanted to be an entertainer of some sort and has dabbled in a lot of creative fields, and they've got to become a jack of all trades. Their variant is called Pocket Portal, and they can make a portal just about the size of their open palm, one near their hand and the other at any destination point within a 100 foot radius. Or they can summon a destination portal within a mile away as long as they're very familiar with the place or can see it through a video call. They have used this for their performances. Oh, and they definitely have a prop closet where they pull all their stuff from. One drawback is that it has slowly really messed up their hands, resulting in discoloration and joint issues. They were given a job offer to travel from across France. They, they took it, of course, but it wasn't what they thought it would be. That job is what ended up landing them in Overage. Doing what exactly? Well, the time's not right. The show will start in the first half of season two, so look forward to that then. There's a lot of, um, kind of circusy themes with them, and I'm living for it. Let's switch over to fun facts. So I chose Toulouse, France, um, due to its rich history with the arts. Um, I actually found out way later down the line that the city's nickname is the Pink City, due to the predominant bricks found all throughout the city being pink. That was not the reason Remy's hair ended up becoming pink. It was just a coincidence, and I know that is just something that they probably don't like the correlation to. They probably hear the comparison being made all the time. They know how to play a photo player, which was used in silent films for, like, the sound, of course. It had organs, a piano, bells, a xylophone, a siren, triangle drums, cymbals, and more. This is a legitimate thing, and as soon as I saw this, I'm like, yeah, Remy knows how to play this. They always carry a right rose on them, fake or real, as to why no one knows. Remy does go by any pronouns and is intersex. I wanted a clown-esque look for their hair, but not anything too silly looking. I struggled with that for quite a while, but I ended up using a design method I've previously seen and used ages ago to achieve their look. And that about wraps it all up. And we'll see you guys next time.